Here it is a quick demo of how to um, modify the length of an element on a complex, uh, the first element of a complex in case uh, it's an arc. And depending on the way it has been created initially, it could be easy or not. So um, here it's just a simple arc and uh, it was easy to modify. This one little more complicated, arc through three points and the order of points could have an importance there. Uh, again, the idea is not to, to lose the complex and drop the complex because we have the profile. So here you can see there is a gap. So um, it's not the good way. So one thing you can always do is create just a, a new element and modify accordingly. So here we can add an arc from element, just put the same arc and set the length as you want the length to be. And just modify the, the other one. So uh, hopefully in the future we can simplify the workflow, but yeah, it's achievable, I would say. Um, and last, uh, you can see well, all the report. So everything is good as expected. And you can delete the previous one, no problem. Uh, the situation where you could not do that for any reason, uh, I don't have it all uh, methodology in mind, is that you can always create the uh, alignment as well uh, as you want. You can just add an arc from elements where you know you can modify the length easily. So the, that was the previous case. So here I can copy past the same radius. And as said, we can modify easily the length of the, the arc typing the value as we want with no gap uh, from spiral side. And then you can use the complex redefine to replace the old part with this new part you can modify easily. So that could be also a workflow in the worst case where you can't really edit the, the initial complex.